We're in Altadena, California. We got called out to uh, upgrade this pond's filtration system. They had uh, a system installed about a year ago and they're not very happy with it. So we are here today to take out that old system and install our new system, which consists of a uh, external pump, external filter, a UV light, and some new plumbing. We're also gonna be installing a new proper suction, bottom suction, and a skimmer inside the pond here. Uh, as you can see, the water is very murky, very dirty. Uh, they actually installed a sand filter and a pool pump on this old system. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't circulating very well. It was high energy, made a lot of noise, and the sand filter is not very easy to clean and maintain. So all that's going in the trash. We're installing our new system. Uh, by installing this new system, we'll have a new external pump that'll be easy to you know, trap and remove leaves and debris inside the pump's skimmer basket easily dump that out and remove it. Then you'll have a new Ultima 2 filter, which will easily be backwashed and clean on a, on a regular schedule. And the UV light, which will help uh, you know, zap any single-celled algae that's floating around in that pond and gives you that pea soup green, uh, green water. Also, since we're installing a little skimmer here, it'll collect all these leaves and debris right off the surface, right into that skimmer, again, for easy removal. There's a lot of trees and a lot of natural stuff going on around here, so this pond gets hit pretty hard with the uh, leaves and debris and everything that's clogged up the pump, and it's really produced a low flow on this waterfall. It's barely even trickling, which means the filter is not working. You got low flow like that, you got low filtration too. So we're gonna take that out, and we're gonna redo it all, and we're gonna have no flow issues. We know of these clients because they called us about a year ago to provide them a quote for a pump and filter system on this pond, which we did. And then uh, about a year later, they called us again and said, hey, you know what, I'm sorry, we went with another contractor and installed the system and we're totally not happy with them. We want you to come back and install your system that you had originally quoted us. Uh, please come over as soon as possible. I could tell on the phone that they're very frustrated and, and eager to get their pond looking good and cleaned up. We provide them a quote of somewhere around $3,400 to install the original system. I'm assuming they went with a little lesser quote, maybe around $2,500. And then now we had to come back, charge them a little bit more to do the additional work of removing the old system and installing the new system. So now they've almost spent twice as much money. So that just goes to show that the lowest quote you receive is not always going to be the best price that you end up paying. So here's the sand filter that we're going to be removing. We're gonna take this filter out. We're gonna put the new filter right here, new external pump right here. Uh, with the external pump, it's gonna pull up the, any leaves and debris from the pond. And then we'll have the skimmer basket inside the pump there that will allow us to remove the leaves and debris from the pump, get it out of the system, and then all the waste and everything will go through the filter and then back into the waterfall. The new filter is a biological and mechanical filter designed specifically for ponds. This here is a sand filter designed for pools. Originally, they had a pool pump operating the sand filter. It was too loud uh, and too much energy. So they replaced that external pump with a submersible pump, which is inside the pond, which then was getting clogged with leaves and debris and everything else. There's bamboo in the area, so that bamboo was getting stuck in the impeller, and then it would slow the trickle down, or the, the waterfall down to a slow trickle, which then you know, wouldn't filter the water, and then the pond was just a downward spiral from there. So we're getting rid of all the old system, we're putting in the new system. A new external pump, a new external filter. By uh, removing that pump, installing an external pump, we're gonna solve that problem. Getting rid of the sand filter here and putting in a proper uh, pond, biological and mechanical filter will easily trap and remove the debris from the pond and from the water. Backwash it for easy cleaning, which in turn is gonna give us a nice, clean, healthy pond and the fish can live a beautiful life. So it's been about two weeks since we finished this filtration upgrade. We did a new skimmer, new suction strainer, new supply line, up to the external pump and filter. If you can remember, this water was completely pea soup green, nasty, disgusting water, you couldn't even see the fish. I came back about three days after uh, we finished the project and the pond is already crystal clear. As you can see now, the water is crystal clear still. You can see all the fish swimming around, the colors. You can even see little specks of sand and everything on the bottom of the pond. Fish are happy, they're a lot more active than they were. I'd say that's money well spent.